Okay, I've got a couple of envelopes, okay? One envelope is for our next guest. One envelope is sent from Fox, okay? I don't know what's in this envelope. There's a um, there's a message in here, so you can read that. That's for you. Uh, it could be anything if it's coming from Fox. Am I reading this now? Yes, please. It's actually a really nice envelope. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Kat. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should be worried. It is no. It's not about you, mate. So relax. good. That's good. Name one teammate you'd never let babysit your kids, and why? Fox doesn't have handwriting like that. You that's, <laughs> <it>? <laughs> that's a shame. Name one teammate you'd never let babysit your kids, and why? Dylan Brown. <laughs> Brown away. Yeah, but Dylan why? Brown just—he's a kid himself. You know what? He uh, Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. No, doesn't he have siblings as well? He look you after? know what he does? He does. Yeah, so that's probably, I don't think, I think that's a bit unfair to Dylan. Yeah, it is actually unfair. I'm going to take that back. Yourself. <laughs> I'll nominate yourself. <laughs> By the bloke that's changed one <laughs> nappy. And I'm assuming he doesn't get up late at night to do the uh, late, late feeds as no, well. I, I'm very good. <laughs> um, I don't know. You really don't know? Who, um, uh, Bryce Cartwright. No, nah, I would. You got that, Regan Campbell Killer. No, nah, I would. He's outstanding. Ryan Madison. He'd be good. He's got his own disability. Oh, he, he looks does. after them. He's, he'd be very good. He, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're there's, a lot of, there's a lot of great candidates. Make a Sevo. He's got a kid now. He looks after him very well. He does. He's just about to have his second. Okay. 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 You're, you're killing me here. Like, I know. We don't, we don't have all day. No, no, no. <laughs> and I, I can't. Um, it's just nominate yourself to just to make it easier. Just nominate yourself. I, would. I can't nominate myself. <laughs> no, you <can't. laughs> You're killing me. Answer the question. Just throw I'm someone. I'm gonna go Sean Lane. Sean Lane. He looks a bit different. Sean Lane, no kids, nothing. Um, real like he's like a he's doing a psychology psychologist degree, whatever it is. I don't. Is that really? Even, is that even how you say it? Psychology degree. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go Sean Lane. Let me tell you, this uh, this chat has really taken a turn. <laughs> Sean um, Lane. All right, we're at the sticky point of the show. Uh, the last guest, Mitch Moses, wrote a question for me. Yeah. For you to tell me. So I'll give that to you. If I can. I was wondering it. what that was. What that said. Yeah. There you I was go. looking at it before. Sorry, that's my yeah. Question. And you can give this to our next guest. Money maker, Mitch. Let's see it. <laughs> That's what it is. I like that. Yeah, yeah, open it and you tell me about it. What's the What's the question? Oh, I think I already know about. Oh, I actually forgot. Um, do you want to know it? No, I don't know it. <laughs> was Josh Mantor late today? Can we get a please explain? I wasn't late. I wasn't late. Today? I wasn't late today. I wasn't late the other day. No, today I wasn't late today. I Mitch. No, what happened? <sighs> so what happened? We were late. That guy is the biggest. He was as well. How bad is he? <laughs> 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 He's the biggest perfectionist when it comes to time. Like I, I, I'm the type of person I'll come either on the dot or I'm like five, ten minutes late. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm, I, I'll stress if I'm late. Not, not a training. Yeah. When nah, it comes yeah. to training, I get heavy anxiety. But you know, I'm so. I think with anything, bro. Like if I think with anything, bro. I hate being late. With anything. All right, boys. As per custom, uh, our previous guest wrote you guys a question, and uh, I'd love for you guys to open that up. Uh, either either. Whoever wants to grab that off me, there's Jeff. an envelope there, Jeff. Woof. Yep, that's all right. From the Fox. <laughs> From the Fox. From the Fox. If you weren't an athlete, what you what would you have done with your life? Again, I'm going to answer this the way Skinny would. Only God knows. But I'm very, very sure that I wouldn't be sitting here um, today. I may have been in jail. And then I'm just blessed that I've met a beautiful human by the name of Johnny Lewis. Wow. What about your skin? I've always liked cars and I've owned car yards and I've worked at dealerships. So I'm going to say as a salesman, a legit honest salesman. <laughs> That's really come by. <laughs> Speaking of boxing, um, our last guest was Jeff Finnick and Skinny Hussain. And yeah. Jeff did the honours and um, wrote your little notes, uh, question in there. So all the guests have been writing the next guest a bit of a question. So if you want to open that up and read that out. What, open this? Yeah, open that up. That's from Jeff Finnick. 
A Maltese to a Maltese. Yeah, <laughs> my fellow Maltese. What is your worth? Oh. That's massive. And did Jeff write this? Jeff wrote that. Well, he spelt it wrong, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if the camera can see that, if there's a H in there in the what, Jeff? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's broken me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Too many head knocks, bro. Oh, my God. No, nah, no, nah, respect, respect, Jeff. Um, good question. What is your worth? Shit. It is what is my question. worth? Wow, how do you even answer that, bro? What is my worth? I don't know how to answer it, bro. It's a pretty strong question. Yeah, like, I don't know what... Look, my worth is just... I don't know if this is answering the question, but just... Um, going out there and doing doing what I love and, and making my family proud and... Um, just being being as successful as I can be, bro, and, and looking after my loved ones and, and... If my family's happy, bro, I'm happy, and that's that's... If that answers the question, Jeff, um, that's my worth. I feel like you do owe a lot to your family by the sounds of it. There's mm. obviously a very deep connection there. Yeah. Well, um, bro, I, I, I put them through hell. You know what I mean? Like, me, to be fair, me and my older brother. So, um, man, like, everyone carries our last name. Everyone knows, you know, our, na our, our name's been in the, through the mud in the, in the media. Um, and I think, I think it's time where it's, me and my brother to move, you know, on. move on and 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 you know give back to the family and that's 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 my goal. I love that, brother. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Say it out loud for me. <laughs> How loud? Not too loud. Do you believe everything happens for a reason? Yeah, I do. I believe if you give good energy, you get good energy back. You give shit energy out, you get shit energy back. And that goes for a lot of people out there. So you attract what you desire. 100%. And cool. I think if you work hard enough, a lot of things come around. Maybe not you know, in the timeline you want, but they eventually do. Yeah, I'm big on that. Like I believe if you, if you truly believe in something, that it will, it will come into fruition. You could have be mucked up there, eh, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was giving it to... Um, did he spell... Did, was he spelling he was right? giving it to before there for spelling... Can, can I say, we spent almost 10 minutes trying to figure out what he <laughs> was, was going to write. Regrets or regrets? Rag, is it rag? <laughs> nah, nah. You know that movie, what's it called? Uh, yeah, that movie, yeah. yeah that one. I got no idea yeah. what to do with it, man. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Questions? Do me like this, Shelly Mitt. I'm our number one fan, baby. What is your anchor? Oh shit! What is your anchor? What is your anchor? Does he mean like what anchors me to keeps you grounded? Yeah. Okay. Um, keeps me grounded. Keeps me grounded. Well, I'd say like uh, the definition for me, like what is your anchor? Of I guess keeps me happy. Um, it's my wife for sure. For sure, she's just she's incredible. Uh, it just creates a, an environment at home that man. It's like, Women got magic. I don't know what it is, baby. They just got magic in their hands. I don't know what it is. Tell me. Tell me the secret. Do you know? You don't think you got magic in your hands? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. They just they just create an environment that is so. Well, they create a home. They create a home. They create I a home that is just so peaceful to go to. Yes. So loving and caring, and so she's my anchor in regards to just that point I can always go back to, and you just forget the world. You got someone that loves you just for you, and doesn't uh, get caught up in all the nonsense and you know whether you're in a box, living in a box or doing really well, mm. she's going to be by your side. And I know that for sure because when we met, holy, when we met, my, me and my wife, um, I, we, we were hundred, I was hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Oh, I was sleeping on, on a uh, mattress on my parents' house's floor and they were living in their parents' house and there was so much financial stress on the family because they used to rent out their home and that money would go to my mum to live on because like we didn't have any money um and so when i moved in there we i couldn't afford to pay rent because so so she wasn't getting money then my dad starts stressing oh, wow. out and so when i met yeah my wife now um yeah I, I was literally on we had no no furniture um in the house uh, a bed on the floor no money and she used to fly up because she was living in sydney i was living in gold coast uh, and she would fly up and just to, she'd work all weekend, normal job, and just to spend some time with me, she'd work behind the bar uh, oh, at, at, at um, that's cool at yeah at Broad Beach, just just to be just be with me. Um, and so a lot of people look at her and see how beautiful she is, and they go, oh, she, you know, she's only with him because he's successful. Now I'm like, 
Nah. She saw the darkest times. She, she was there with the darkest times. No money. I mean, I used to have holes in my shoes because we had no money to buy new shoes. That's how much money the bar owed when I took it over because I didn't owe money when I took – it had money before and then I took it over and I took on that debt. Uh. Um, and so, yeah, we were struggling massively, so like a lot of stress. Um, and, yeah, and so when I met her, I said to her uh, – they're richer than men than me. They're richer men than me. They're better looking men than me. But no man will give you a better life. Uh, and boom, now we are married. So she's my anchor in regards to happiness. My anchor in regards to keeping me grounded. Just remembering the people before me that yeah. are much better men than, than me, men and women. I touched on that before. Your yeah. grandparents, for example. Absolutely. Remind yourself, hey, that, like, my, as I said, my grandparents went to war for this country. So how dare I think that I'm some kind of hero? Uh, that keeps me grounded. 